competition. Now, Carla Dunlop, who is expecting tough competition here. She is a bit of a pioneer in women's bodybuilding. You know, Bill, I saw Carla in her very first contest. It was quite a few years ago, maybe four or five years ago. But the amazing thing about her performance there is that she hadn't started to train with weight yet. All the development that she showed in this first competition was from entirely from swimming and gymnastics. Of course, since then, she's been training with weights very hard and uh, really shows in her development. Now, Carla has won just about every championship one can win in women's bodybuilding. What is it about her that makes her a champion? Well, a number of things, Bill. First of all, she has that ideal combination of muscularity and femininity. And her, her attitude on stage, as you can see, she's very expressive with her body. She gets the message across as if it's saying with her body that I'm the best and here's what I do and I do it very well. The proposing routine shows a very interesting combination of dance-like movements combined with the muscle poses, and she's in pretty good condition here, and she shows it off very well. How does what she's doing now compare to what the men do in posing? Well, Bill, she's showing some of the same muscle groups that a man would in his posing routine, for example, the bicep poses, but she does it in a very feminine manner. Her attitude of her body and her facial expressions all seem to fit a, a feminine archetype very well. I think this is quite an unusual routine. She has some really nice flowing arm movements. Is it harder or easier for women to develop their bodies for this type of competition than men? Well, I don't think it's really harder or easier. I think that women just have certain natural attributes that they want to maximize in this kind of training. For example, women have a, a greater degree of leg and hip strength. And so they can get pretty strong in those areas, but they don't seem to be able to get the same kind of leg muscularity that men can get. Women also don't seem to be able to get as big a muscle development as, as men do, but one thing that they do have going for them is their movements in these routines are just seem to be much better and more proficient than what the men do. <laughs> It's a very unique ending to her routine.